mean, yeah. it sits a little bit higher than that. But. You're looking at the makings of more precise weather forecasting. Maryland's first mesonet tower went up in Howard County. So it'll help with our issuances of special marine warnings for mariners out on the bay. Two, one. The first one of 70 towers planned for Maryland is in Clarksville, not far from the catastrophic flooding in Ellicott City that caused three deaths and millions of dollars in damages in 2016 and 2018. What truly sets the Maryland mesonet apart is its ability to deliver faster, more accurate data. In the critical realm of emergency management, the value of precise, real-time information cannot be overstated. Building the Towers is a partnership between Maryland Department of Emergency Management and the University of Maryland. The Maryland Mesonet is positioned to impact all regions of the state, especially the underserved communities vulnerable to climate change and sea level rise. Maryland Mesonet is a network, a dense network of highly accurate and closely spaced uh, weather stations and data collection uh, instruments distributed at a distance of about 10 miles. We've reported on many catastrophic weather events on the bay, like this microburst on Tillman Island just before the 4th of July that caught Melissa Whitlock and her family by surprise. The National Weather Service reported wind gusts of 84 miles per hour. How will this be for boaters heading out? Are they going to get more accurate information? Yes, they're going to get more accurate warnings. They're going to get more observations. They're going to be able to see as these storms go across the state. The information will be available to the public. Chris Strong, the National Weather Service Warning Coordination Meteorologist, says it is a good tool because the price is right to have at least two in every county. If you want to find something that's a good mid-ground that you can deploy across the state where you can have a lot of them, uh, but it's still, you know, a decent quality, so it will give you a good observation. The technology can sense all weather patterns. It's got a, a wind sensor on top, so it measures the wind speed and wind direction. It has a, a snow depth detector on it, which is going to be interesting to see how it works in the state of Maryland. It's uh, a, a sensor that's looking down at the ground, and it will measure how much snow is building up underneath the tower. It's got a temperature and humidity sensor. Um, it has a barometer that's measuring the atmospheric pressure. It has a rain gauge that's measuring the precipitation that's falling next to it. The 70 towers are scheduled to go up across the state over the next year. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.